Hey guys, it's me, Katie, again. I am blogging actually for my second time via the video internet, but um, this is actually going to be posted first, so you're going to see something else later this week that's via video, and just be aware, sorry, my bad, I made a mistake. But um, today I wanted to post um, this um, kind of spiritual Sunday video because I thought it would be a lot easier to show you what I'm talking about than actually explaining it um, via words and all that jazz. And plus, I'm just really lazy. It's summer. I mean, I'm tired. Come on. We, we need a change of pace. But anyway, um, spiritual Sunday is all about trying to kind of become a better person through small acts. And, you know, a lot of these strategies actually I've gotten from um, a lot of my cognitive therapy and CBT classes in um, graduate school in psychology. So these are just kind of simple ways to incorporate just being more spiritual and trying to make your life better, not just for yourself, but for other people. And as you guys know, I'm kind of obsessed with jars. I have, um, I'll put the links down here. I have a post on, you know, the gratitude jar which is where you have a jar and you put pieces of paper in it and you write on each piece of paper something you're grateful for and you can write it and put it in when you're feeling sad or feeling down and then you can, you know, pick, you know, one of those pieces of paper and read it when you're feeling down as well. I've also written about the worry jar and that's more about like having a designated time to concentrate on your worries. So you write your worries down and put them in that jar and then, you know, whenever your designated time is, then you can take them out and look at them and think about them with more of a clear, rational mind. Now today, this is actually one of my favorite ideas and I actually got this via Pinterest. I created for myself something called the board jar. And, you know, I'm the type of person, I'm in grad school, I, you know, have an internship, it's usually a 50 to 60 hour week. I also have a long distance relationship with my fiance who's in med school in Kentucky. I'm up here in Chicago. So um, I'm usually very busy. So when I'm not, I feel totally lost. And I know, you know, a lot of people lately are, you know, it's summer, it's winding down. Maybe if you have kids, you're like swamped more than ever. But for us childless people, it's it can be sometimes pretty, pretty lull. And one of the things I thought about doing was creating a board jar for myself. And this is a great strategy to use with children. Each time they say you're bo they're bored, you put in a jar, like several scraps of paper. And on each like little piece of paper, you put down something like, you know, if you say you're bored, you can draw a piece of paper and it could be like, you know, clean your room or it can be like, we'll go to the park or let's go get ice cream. So it's something a little different. Now for, for us non-kid folk, I figured having a board jar would be a great way to either force you to do something fun or do one of those chores that you're kind of putting off for ages because it doesn't really have a deadline. And I'll kind of show you what I've done with it. So I actually got this little jar, <laughs> you can see it's an owl. I got it from a, from a thrift store, which is appropriate because my next video is going to be about thrifting. And um, this is like, this was like an owl cookie jar, and it was originally this kind of old-fashioned um, porcelain. And so I just spray painted it yellow and um, several coats. It took a, a lot of coats. And so this is now my board jar. And what I've started doing, I'm going to take off the head. And down in here, I have pieces of paper. Let me see if I can. Can you see those? No? No. I'll, I'll bring them out for you. I wrote pieces of paper and kind of some things that you could do or I could do if I ever feel, find myself being bored. So this first one, I have um, hunt for some brooches. I don't know if you can see that. Hunt for some brooches. This is um, just a suggestion because I am getting married next September 2013 and I don't want a floral bouquet. I want a bouquet made of brooches and um, my mom is going to be kind enough to DIY it. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks mom. So in the meantime um, it's kind of fun just to be able to hunt around for some brooches. So I have that and that's kind of more of a fun thing. This says watch a movie from childhood because I'm a movie geek. 
I'm a movie geek. I love movies. They're my favorite things in the world. I mean, nothing makes me happier besides movies, besides children and my family and friends and my dogs and cats. And Okay, lots of things make me happier, but you know what I'm saying. Um, this thing is, it says put five things in the gratitude jar. That's another example of what you could do. Um, I'm a big believer in gratitude. I think having a lot of gratitude in life is one of the best defenses against depression, against anxiety, just really reminding yourself what, you know, what you have to be thankful for, which a lot of us have so much, especially if you have internet access and you're watching this. That's one thing to put in your gratitude jar. And so I think you get the idea. And I mean, these are just some ideas and I'll post maybe something a little later on of some, you know, ideas to put in your gratitude or in your board jar. Um, like this says, learn to cook a new dish. Uh, learn a new hairstyle because I am hairstyle challenged and there are some great tutorials on YouTube. Um, dress up and take pictures. I don't know. That's very vain. I should probably take that out of there. Go to Barnes & Noble and read the magazines for free. Um, call a friend just to talk. I've got other things in here. I won't take them all out. I have things, random things like watch the 17th movie on your instant Netflix queue. Um, to things like um, go to the Dollar Tree, buy five items and donate them. Or, you know, write a card to a friend or a relative to organize your sock drawer. So that's just some ideas. I just wanted to share this idea with you because I'm the type of person who thinks that goals are good. <laughs> and, you know, having a place to put all of these ideas and um, things and goals for later on when you have, you know, a little bit of free time is pretty good. And I, I thought that if it can work for kids, usually it can be adapted to work for us uh, adults or young adults. So, you know, if, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And if you want to find a cool owl slash cookie jar slash board jar, um, post some pictures, let me know what you guys are doing. I bet you guys can get more creative than this. I mean, come on. This is it's pretty sad. I didn't even spray paint my fiancé did. So show me what you got. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.